here's something a little different. I'm not actually going to be driving a car today, we're just going to be taking a look at one. This uh, Carrera S is currently being purchased by a viewer of mine over in San Diego, California. And just happens that the current owner is here in my home state of Connecticut. In fact, he lives just down the road. Uh, so the buyer got hold of me and said, Nick, would you mind having a quick look around the car? And really what I'm doing today is just looking at any cosmetic wear and tear on the car. The car is nearly new, it's only a 2015, and it only has 2,000 miles on the clock. So there's very little chance of anything being wrong with this car. And on top of that, it's just had a CPO inspection by the local dealership Porsche Fairfield, which gave it a clear bill of health. So I'm not going to be looking at any of the mechanics, I'm just looking at wear and tear items, which there should be very little or none. And even though this is an extraordinary low mileage car, so I'm not expecting to find anything wrong with it, uh, there are some areas that pick up wear and tear fairly quickly on most cars, and in particular a Porsche 911. So let's get started. First of all, I wanted to take you through what options are on this car. Uh, this car is known as the Sport Design Edition, uh, which means it's got the front fascia, uh, the sport front fascia. It's also got the sport um, design mirrors and the ducktail spoiler, which is a very rare option, uh, not even available in the latest models. Also has the sport techno wheels painted, the sports exhaust, the LED headlights, and the glass sunroof. Uh, the owner has also swapped out the amber side lights for the clear set European side lights. And on the inside, Sport, uh, one of the features of the Sport Edition is the red insert on the steering wheel and the Sport Chrono package and the 14-way leather seats. Because it's just standard leather, there's no leather on the dash, no leather on the doors, uh, just pretty much just leather on the seats. But it does include the brushed aluminium package just on the front here and in the center console. Uh, and the brushed aluminium gear lever and the extended brushed aluminium door sill. Uh, this package also has the brushed aluminium pedals which I always think look kind of plasticky but they're nicer, nicer in real life uh, and this car has the Bose stereo as well. The only other options are the, the 20mm PASM which in this car includes the PDCC and of course the sports exhaust as we mentioned before. So on with looking for cosmetic wear and tear on this car. So first thing I did was a close inspection of the front of the car for stone chips or any other imperfections. They get uh, picked up pretty quickly if you don't have the paint protection film. Uh, one thing I did notice was one of the parking sensors is inserted too far. Uh, the other parking sensors around the car were flush, but that one there uh, is indented for some reason. The rest of the paintwork on the front was, gr was fine. Then you check under the front lip here for scrapes. Because of the Sport Design pack, these get scrapes very easy. This car does have one little scrape under the front here, just on the front right, uh, a very minor one. And at 2,000 miles, I'm kind of surprised there's not more. Then I had a look at uh, the front radiators for any sign of damage. Uh, these, these are obviously prone for damage, stone chips and so forth as well. So it's worth peeking in there. But these ones, uh, apart from a few bugs on them, are in perfect new, as new condition. Next I went around the wheel wells and looked for stone chips uh, which are so easily picked up here because the stones are just flying off the wheels. But surprisingly on this car, not a single chip anywhere in the paintwork around the wheel wells. This is another area that's uh, protected by uh, paint protection film if you get it. Um, but you know, you're going you're to expect some damage to this, these areas of the car uh, pretty quickly. All four wheels, all four wheel wells are uh, in, in great condition. And next I looked at the, mu the mufflers, they could do with a little bit of a shine, but um, they're in as new condition as you'd expect. So, and then I had a look under the back of the car, um, the exhaust, uh, the classic bronze color from the, the heat from the engine, of course. Uh, and what you're looking for here is any scrapes on the exhaust or the sump there from someone backing the car into a parking stop, which is easy to do. But no, everything underneath the car looked like it was in, in perfect as new condition. Then I went around each of the wheels to look for any scrapes or any curb rash and there are none. The, the wheels are all in perfect condition. Uh, the 991.1 cars had tires that didn't protect the, the rims as well. The new, the new tires uh, have little rim protectors on them. 
Uh, so it is something I want to check for. The, the wheels, these big 20 inch wheels are very easily damaged. Uh, but this particular car, uh, the rims were in perfect condition. Then on to the inside. Uh, the door sills pick up damage pretty quickly. People just scraping their shoes across the car as they get in. Uh, so you'll see scrape marks just here on any car with a few miles on it. Uh, but this car had none. And then the seats. You want to pay close attention to the seats, especially the bolsters. The bolsters pick up damage very quickly from people that don't know how to get in and out of these seats. You want to, you want to pop yourself into these seats. You want to put your, your leg in first and pop yourself in so you're not scraping yourself across the bolsters. You can see damage on the bolsters as early as 5,000 miles in most cars. Uh, then I ran the sunroof. Uh, cars with sunroofs, particularly the glass roof, should always be checked. Uh, they have been prone to have a few problems, uh, but this one had no issues at all. It ran smoothly and there was no gunk around. You want to check up in, in, the, in the wells here for any gunk that's, uh, that's settled if a car's been left outside. But this was uh, as new, this car. Then I took a general look around the inside and it is immaculate. Um, every, every, every space of this car is as you'd expect for such a low mileage car, as new. Um, front and back. Um, you want to pop the front seat down and then, then lower the, the rear seats as well to check that that mechanism works. In this car, no problem at all. And I even had a quick look in the trunk, uh, which has clearly never been used for storing a dead body. Uh, otherwise, the rest of the interior is, yeah, as I said time again, it's uh, as new. I really couldn't find any issues. Uh, the only small issue I found was that the uh, door stop on the passenger side had clearly needed to be tightened at the dealer or someone because um, you can see a little bit of corrosion there. Uh, this was a common issue with the 991.1s where those weren't tightened enough from the factory. Here's the driver's side, you can see that's, that's what it should look like. But overall this is not a big issue. As expected this car is almost as new. Um, the only issues I saw were the small scrape at the front uh, which was never, which is not noticeable unless you get underneath the car. That parking sensor that for some reason is not flush with the rest of the bodywork and of course the door stop bolt which has got a little bit of surface rust from someone having tightened that. Otherwise the car um, visually at least it seems to be in perfect condition. So I hope this was useful to my viewer out in San Diego looking to buy this car. Obviously you want to have the car um, mechanically inspected as well, which the, the buyer has done. So I, I didn't bother driving the car because I know it's in perfect condition mechanically. And so of course these are the spots you just want to do a quick check around uh, when buying these cars. Anyway, so if you've got any questions or comments make sure you pop them below and uh, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye then.